We're painting cute little animals and we've done so many of them that the intro is getting really long. So maybe this will shorten it. These are the ones we've done so far. Can you guess what today's is gonna be? I'll give you a little hint for today's. When I was a kid, the farm down the road from ours was about a half a mile down and I could hear these quite often. Grab your watercolors and give them a spritz. Then I'm gonna fill my brush with a light grayish purple color and I'm gonna make two circles that are about two circles apart from each other. Wash my brush and then I'm gonna fill it with a nice bright blue color. I'm gonna start by outlining the insides of the eyes, trying not to touch them, coming up from the eyes and we're gonna make a bit of a mound on top. I'm gonna wash my brush after I make that mound and I'm gonna fill it with a nice turquoise color. Mine has a little sparkle in it. I'm gonna bring that down between the eyes then I'm gonna wash my brush again and I'm going to fill it with a nice bright green color. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit, wash my brush again. Then I'm gonna go back to either the blue or the teal color and I'm going to make little mounds underneath the eyes, bring it in slightly towards the center and then flick it down. Fill that middle part in with some blues, teals, or greens. The color palette might be giving this away already. Then at the top, I'm going to fill my brush with any of those colors, make a couple little flicks up and then I'm going to make a couple little dots at the top. Then we need to let this dry or make it dry. Once it's dry, we wanna fill our brush with a dark color. And we're gonna make two smaller circles within the initial circles. With that same color in our brush, we're gonna make a big diamond shape, making it a bit longer towards the bottom. Then I'm gonna wash my brush and I'm gonna fill it with some pink and I'm gonna make a nice bright background. Once we have our background, it's time to let it dry or make it dry. Once everything is dry, it's time for my favorite part, which is to grab my white gel pen, outline everything, add in some highlights to the eyes, around the beak, add in some nostrils, and if you want to, you can add in some little scribbles, because peacocks have a little bit of white on their face. This one looks so cute and inquisitive. I'm not going to risk a pun on this one, because the wordplay options are a bit dangerous. Actually, I think the lion and him are two peas in a pod. We'll leave it there.